Welcome back to Virginia this morning and back by popular demand. Our next guest made her debut on a show last summer and became one of our favorites. She's known for her soul food and we wanted to share the signature Southern recipe with you one more time. Lady Sharon's Soul Food Kitchen food truck already shared a great recipe with us for chicken and rice, an easy casserole that you can put together at home. Now she's ready to share a recipe for sweet potato bread. Sharon, it's great to see you. We're so happy to get a second recipe with you. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't, I can hardly wait to share it. I think you're going to like it. This is an easy one to put together, and I know um, you're pretty excited to uh, put this out. Is this a popular one in the truck or one you've just put together for us? I just, I, well, I, I do it a lot at home, but I, I'm just sharing it with you guys. I have not used it on the truck. Well, once everybody sees it here, they're going to start asking for it when they see you out and about. <laughs> By all means, I will, I will definitely make it happen. Well, take us through the steps. We want to see how it all comes together. All right. What I'm going to do first, I have a cup and a half of self-rising flour. I'm going to pour that in. <laughs> I have one cup of sugar. Okay. I have a half a cup of oil, just regular vegetable oil. Okay. Then I have two eggs that I've already beaten. Pour those in. And Sharon, so far, all of these are ingredients that you most likely already have at home. So this might oh, yeah. be an easy one to uh, just start really thinking about putting, putting into yeah. play. It's real simple. I have a tablespoon of vanilla. And I have, this is not a mixture of nutmeg and cinnamon, but it's just a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And two tablespoons of milk. Okay, then we're going to stir this up really really good and even though all those ingredients are pretty handy and you might have those at home it seems like it would be important to have everything kind of measured out and ready to go because you're just it putting is. it right in yeah it's just real simple when it's already kind of mixed up okay and then the next thing you're going to add to this you're going to add a cup of mashed sweet potatoes So with those, I would have already maybe roasted them at home. Do you do them specifically um, for the recipe, or I just boil, I just boil them. And a, lot, okay. a lot of times, I may just put them in a pressure cooker if I'm in a hurry. But just boil them in a pot until they're, until they're nice and soft. Yeah. Sharon, you've just inspired me. You know, with putting them, I'm always like, gosh, it takes so long to make potatoes. It never occurred to me to use the pressure cooker. <laughs> I love my pressure cooker, honey. Put them in there for about 25 minutes, and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, and next I have a cup of uh, chopped up pecans, and I have a half a cup of raisins. And that's it. You just mix that up real good, and then you're going to spray a, a regular loaf pan this size. Just spray it, and I like my Baker's Joy. This is the best stuff on the market. You spray it real good, put it in the oven. It's, it, it's going to take about 45 minutes on like 350 and the finished product looks like this. That looks absolutely gorgeous, Sharon. It's like banana bread's cousin, sweet potato bread. Right, that's what it is. And a lot of people don't think about it with sweet potatoes. There are so many things you can do with sweet potatoes and they're really good for you. Well, I'm super inspired because goodness knows we love a good slice of sweet potato pie. And I think oh, this yeah. would be right in line with serving that up. I hope everything's going well for you right now. You're doing well and kind of excited to get back out and in the mix. How can folks come and see you? Well, they can right now they can find us. We're doing a lot of neighborhoods in the evening. Um, a lot of we don't have a lot of day things because we've been in the house a lot. But in the evenings from 4.30 to 7.30, we've been visiting various neighborhoods. So if you go on our Facebook page or the website, LadySharon'sKitchen.com, the flyer's there, tells you where we are. And you can find us, just all pre-orders, got curbside service and everything. Well, you've got it all. And thank you so much for being so generous and sharing these great recipes with us and showing us how it's done because we have been spending time at home and it's nice to have some great food to enjoy. It's good to see you.
It's good to see you as well. It was my pleasure, and you have a soulful day. You as well, and we'll see you again here soon on Virginia This Morning, we hope, and thanks for being with us now. We'll share a direct link on WTVR.com slash VTM.